What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time of episode number 62. If you recall, last week we had an amazing episode. We were introduced to the Ultra Guardians. We saw their base that was under the school, and they fought against a Buzzwole. Well, today's episode did not live up to that at all. It was a completely irrelevant side episode about Team Rocket's Meowth and an Alolan Meowth. If you did check out this episode, and if you had a favorite moment at all, let me know what that was in the comments down below, or let me know any thoughts that you have that maybe I skip over in this very quick review. The episode starts off with Ash at uh, Kukui's house, and he's feeding all of his Pokemon. It immediately flashes over to Team Rocket's base, where Meowth is looking through their fridge for the, or freezer, I guess, for this ice cream that he had saved. It was a special ice cream. He was first in line to get it. And it turns out that Jesse is upstairs eating it, which visibly upsets me out, and he runs out the base screaming that he hates Jesse. So before the episode title even runs, we're already throwing punches. But as we showed, the episode title is called The Dark Meowth is a Lolan Meowth. So you know that there is just going to be a, a Meowth centered episode, and oh boy, was it. Uh, but as Meowth is running through the forest, he Falls, he runs off of a cliff and falls into a little swamp right there and gets coated in mud. But off to the side, we see an Alolan Meowth standing. Just, you know, an Alolan Meowth casually in the forest. Jesse and James come by to try and find Meowth, and Jesse apologizes to what she thinks is their Meowth and says that James will buy her, buy him a new one. Okay? The dark Meowth winds up going back with Jesse and James, but Wobbuffet is staying there and he notices something is different between this Meowth that just walked by. Back at the base, new Meowth brings up drinks to Jesse and, and shines James's Pokeball collection and they're all trying to figure out what's up with this. Uh, regular Meowth, the Meowth we're used to shows up, still coated in mud from the swamp and almost kind of looks like Alolan Meowth. So Alolan Meowth starts talking, saying that he's been looking for a caring trainer. Um, he's going, he's gone through several people, but was looking for a better trainer, like Jesse and James, apparently. And all of this conversation was translated by regular Meowth. Even though he was against translating it, it was all translated by him. Jesse points out, after James goes through the little book and points out, oh, it's a dark type. Jesse goes, oh, that means it can use the Z crystal that we had. And we see Meowth hit a, hit a little Z pose there. Um, and they point out that regular Meowth can't use the Z move. He says that if he tried, he's sure he could use, or he's sure he could use it. They just don't have a Z ring. So they decide to keep this Alolan Meowth around. And as they go to try and catch it, Alolan Meowth says, wait, 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 wait. Before you catch me, I want to make sure that I find the right trainer. I want to find the right trainer. So give me a minute before you catch me. At that point, the phone, the little screen rings and it's Giovanni calling. We haven't seen Giovanni in a little while, but of course they all go, they all jump to attention and are explaining that they found this Alolan Meowth and they're expecting Giovanni and the, Giovanni's assistant are there and they're expecting big things from them capturing this Alolan Meowth. Uh, but from that, we see that Meowth, who we know doesn't like the Persian that's in Giovanni's lap, he also doesn't like Alolan Meowth that's there, and he's just, he's just having a really, really rough time. Now, this Alolan Meowth is obviously planning something. So, so far, um, you know, he's treating, he's, he's giving Jesse and James whatever they want, um, he's acting all perfect, but he's also messing with Meowth a little bit. Mimikyu walks by at that point, and Alolan Meowth lifts up Mimikyu's cloth, with, which causes Meowth to get knocked out. Uh, and you can see him in his little dream world where he's eating his ice cream, uh, and Wobbuffet, <gasps> Wobbuffet wakes him up, almost like he's Hulk and, uh, Hulk and, uh, Hulk and, uh, I'm going to assume that you know exactly what I'm talking about. James and Jesse at that point are explaining to Alolan Meowth about Pikachu and coming up with a plan to capture him. And we, we find out what this plan was and it was actually 
Admittedly, it was a pretty clever plan. Meowth decides to leave and he goes over to Orangaroo's bar where he's drinking juice and saying that he shouldn't be drinking and all of this other stuff and he gets his very evil look and says that he'll have to make Jesse and James realize how useless Alolan Meowth is. The next day, whenever it happens, Alolan Meowth is sitting at the computer accessing information and Meowth comes up and says, hey, meet me outside of the school gates in one hour. And Meowth runs off towards the Pokemon school. From there, we see that Ash is training versus Kiawe. We have the double battle that we saw in the preview last week, and that's uh, Litten and Lycanroc versus Turtonator and Alolan Marowak. And they're fighting, they go through this little sequence where Litten and Lycanroc have a good teamwork combo, and everyone's talking them up. I think still foreshadowing uh, an evolution that might be happen happening very, very soon. Um, but Meowth walks up and steals the backpack that Rowlet is sitting in and gets the attention of everyone as he runs off. So he's obviously trying to get the attention of everyone. My assumption was that they were going to get everybody over to where Alolan Meowth was and they'll have a fight. And that's exactly what happened. Meowth runs and drops off the backpack right where Alolan Meowth is standing and then runs off. And the whole gang comes up and Lily points out that this is a different Meowth than usual. Well, Alolan Meowth says, all right, if you want Pikachu, come get it, and challenges them. So, uh, or if you want Rowlet, challenges them. And so Pikachu runs up, uses quick attack per usual, but faint attack from Meowth pops up right in front of Pikachu and, get, and flicks him. So the battle continues on, and you know, Pikachu's getting ready to use a Thunderbolt, we can imagine, but Alolan Meowth actually launches a Thunderbolt at the group of kids. But they all dodge it, but where they wind up dodging to is actually a hole that falls and they all get trapped in the hole. From there, they're, they're able to capture Pikachu in another one of their little contraptions um, and they get away. So Alolan Meowth's plan seems to have worked so far. In the hole, Kiawe lets out Turtonator as a, hey, we can just climb up Turtonator and get out, but you just can't hit a spike on the back. And of course, as Ash is climbing out, he hits the spike. Everyone explodes out of the hole, but at least they're out of the hole. During that time, Rowlet did see where Team Rocket went off to, and they followed them. Now, Team, Rocket's, Team Rocket is sitting by and talking about how the entire plan worked. That Meowth was a decoy to get the Rowlet, to then get Pikachu. And this Alolan Meowth seems to be pretty crafty. But the group, the group of kids all come up and winds up finding Team Rocket, and they start to battle. Mimikyu comes out and per usual, Mimikyu knocks over Pikachu's uh, little cage container and Pikachu's out, Pikachu's safe. The Pikachu runs over to Ash and Meowth decides, okay, now's my chance. Now I can prove that I'm more useful than the Alolan Meowth. And Meowth goes to attack. At that point, Ash and Pikachu fire off a Gigavolt Havoc, launching Team Rocket off because Alolan Meowth has disappeared. So as they're flying away, Team Rocket's being blasted off. Beware flies out of a tree, catches them, and they go back into the forest. Several days later, Team Rocket hasn't seen Alolan Meowth anywhere, and they're wondering if it's going to come back. Giovanni calls them again, and apparently Alolan Meowth is now Giovanni's assistant's Pokemon. So he wound up using Meowth's savings that he kept in a little piggy bank to buy a plane ticket to get to Kanto. And then he calls them separately and says that he'll be the one sitting in Giovanni's lap eventually. So this whole episode was centered around an Alolan Meowth that appeared out of nowhere, who after being used by Team Rocket for less than a day, gets a plane ticket to Kanto, yeah, this whole episode was just a complete useless waste of time. However, the preview for next week shows that we're in for some more story. We see a battle royale. Um, they're talking about the battle royale. They see We see the masked royal, um, which who we know is Kukui if you play the game. Spoilers. But he has an Incineroar. So is this going to turn out that Kukui's cannon starter was Litten and he has an Incineroar? I don't know, but it also shows Litten training a whole lot in this episode. And at one point, Litten versus an Incineroar, Litten goes up in flames. 
I think we might be seeing an evolution in the next week. But that was that. Again, kind of... I don't know. To be honest, it's kind of hard to do reviews of videos, or of episodes like these, because it was just an absolutely useless episode, and I honestly just didn't enjoy it at all. There were some funny moments, but it was more of, it was more trouble to watch. It just, I'm excited for next week. Hopefully we get to see some story picking up and not just useless fillers. But if you did wind up enjoying the episode, let me know what your favorite moment was in the comments down below. And we will see you for the next, hopefully, exciting episode of the Sun and Moon anime. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.